Hello and welcome to Frank's school. Cat's here ready to help me. Her name is Boots, incidentally. She was a barn cat, so she's a little bit wild. Uh, anyway, uh, this, is, uh, this is the 69th day of the second year, first video, and I'm analyzing the movie Willow. Uh, it'll take me probably another week of this to do it. Now, uh, I've been telling you you could see Willow on uh, YouTube. Well, it, as of today, it was blocked. Yesterday you could see it. Today you can't on YouTube. But earlier I said buy it. Just buy the movie or, or rent it. Uh, buy it. it. It's a good enough movie uh, and movies are not very expensive and that way you could watch it in a really good copy. Some the, I recommend a VHS to be honest with you because I think the sound is better than, than DVD players. But either way, but, um, all right, uh, in what you're going to see, what I'd ask you to see now, uh, well, first of all, Kaya. I want to say something about her name. This is Willow's wife, Kaya. I don't know how it's spelled. doesn't matter. I, I can use my spelling system, our talk writing, uh, and sometimes I'll, I'll make uh, the stress syllable uh, capitalized, so it's Kaya. Kaya. Um, sometimes I just underline it, uh, Kaya. Anyway, uh, if her name had been Gaia, I would have thought, aha, I know where her name came from, because Gaia was the uh, Greek uh, goddess Mother Earth. Uh, uh, there's even something called the Gaia Hypothesis, which is a very optimistic uh, pseudoscience. All right, anyway, things to look for. Uh, themes. Well, uh, a theme is a, is a piece of a story that keeps showing up, keeps coming around again and again. And the summoning of a council is an epic theme from epic literature. It's so often there. Last year when I explained about Gilgamesh, at least twice, maybe three times, uh, the, the, there was the summoning uh, of a council of the gods, uh, the uh, council of Elrond in, in, uh, the, in the Lord of the Rings as an example. So we've got that. A quest. Now there is such a common theme in literature, a quest. Um, uh, characters go on a journey in order to get something. Quest for fire uh, was what I used uh, 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 last year. And then in, in uh, Gilgamesh, again, I think there were three quests. Uh, well, in this case, it's a quest to get rid of something, to return the baby to the Daikini. Well, I always, or don't always, but I compare it to a movie called The Gods Must Be Crazy, a wonderful movie about a bushman who goes on a quest to get rid of something. He wants to throw a Coke bottle off the edge of the world because the Coke bottle has caused so much trouble. Uh, now, there are other kinds of themes. Uh, uh, there are also musical themes. A musical theme is a certain tune or a melody that keeps coming back around. And by now, uh, you've seen enough of the movie that, that there is a theme. Uh, I call it, I'm going to call it Kaya's theme uh, because it, it seems to be associated with Willow's home, and that's where she is. Uh, there's also uh, something like a theme uh, called a leitmotif uh, in opera, in Wagnerian operas. It, it, it's used extremely. Well, uh, Willow has a leitmotif. He hates trolls. You'll hear him say that. That's you out again and again. He hates trolls. Uh, it's tagged on that character. Um, archetypes, well, uh, uh, the oracle, that's a, an archetype is a kind of character that is recognizable. Uh, and these kinds of characters keep showing up. The oracle consulting the bones when that uh, high elwin or high wizard or whatever, uh, he consults the bones. Now, he's made comical, in a way. I'll say something about that in a minute. The sidekick. Well, Willow's going to have a sidekick. Uh, uh, at least for part of the movie, maybe all of the movie. A memento. Uh, just trying to think of what that other word is. Uh, when, when Kaya gives uh, Willow uh, a lock of her hair to remember her by, that's called a, a memento. And I just cannot... Think of what that other word is when you've got an object that, that means so much. Huh. Maybe, maybe I'll think of it by tomorrow. Uh, a hero's special weapon. Well, Willow has been, he's a hero, and he's given a special weapon, an acorn. These acorns, and if he 
throws the acorn at something that's changed to stone. So the hero's got a special weapon. Um, and then uh, I wanted to point out that the uh, w wizard is made uh, slightly foolish when he makes the bird fly, says, follow the bird. And then he says, oh, ignore the bird. Uh, well, I see there a touch of that absent-minded professor, somebody who is so smart and knows so much, but is also sort of silly in a way. I can see that there. Um, and I guess finally I'll tell you that literary devices are being set up. You, you don't, you, or, or there's other literary devices, I suppose. But, but two more times now, an echo has been set up. Something's going to echo. When that bird, uh, the stone goes up and the bird flies, that was an echo, uh, that's a setup for an echo. You'll see at the end of the movie. Very cleverly done. And then the other one is the surprise that the baby has for burgle cut. I've used my spelling system again, I capitalize it, but burgle cut, burgle cut. Uh, I had no idea how his name was supposed to be spelled. Uh, I could find out. But anyway, uh, that it gives comic relief, uh, which is needed at this point because of the sadness of the departure. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Kaya having to say goodbye to Willow. Uh, and, uh, and anyway, now, I, I ask you to stop at that point, because after that, things are going to change a little bit. That's a great point to stop for today. Uh, since uh, I can't tell you, since that, that other video has been blocked, that other series has been blocked, I could tell you that it's, a, I, it's around the 22nd minute, 40th second into the movie. And this I know because I went over to watching the movie in Spanish, Willa La Película. Uh, for all I know, it'll be blocked tomorrow. Uh, all right, so uh, there you go, and uh, we'll see you uh, next time. Enjoy.